too, not too pleasant, not pleasant now, so that they wouldn't know what to expect. What to expect, yes. So you want to put your memory stick? Oh, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I want content creators. <laughs> so hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, your girl, Barista Neze, Neze Mwima, Neze Pepe Rempe. And this is Netherville. Guys, we have a guest on our channel today, okay? I can't say any word without letting her introduce herself. Hi, guys. Hi, Netherbillians. Right? Yes. My name is Ijoma from IJ's Corner YouTube channel. I'm also a lawyer. In fact, if she <laughs> meets me in the court, <laughs> she will I'll not say anything wait outside. until I'm done. <laughs> I wanted to say that we have so much in, in common. common. Like we are mom of boys. She has four boys, and I have three. Uh huh. Uh, yes. We are both so, lawyers, but she's yes. my very senior colleague. She was called many years ago, and we are both potakot mamas, potakot wives. Yeah. But we have so much in common. In Anyways, guys, please, I need you guys to support IJ. Yeah. When they say when they say we will have to respond. I and IJ have a collaboration. On her own channel, you know, you know how we do it. Please, please come to IJ's <laughs> channel, support her, subscribe to her channel, watch that video we did and other videos, like it. Very, yes. very interesting video, as in, <laughs> <laughs> and say you're from Neze. I'll be waiting for you guys over there. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be discussing something, <laughs> something like a little bit of a taboo. <laughs> but you know, with Neze, there is no taboo. We say everything the way it, it is. is. So months ago, I did a video on the many mistakes that our parents did. See, if you are raised African, you will know that one or two our parents, you know, our parents are always right to but come. Some of them they fuck up. Some of them they mess up. <laughs> so there are so many mistakes that our parents made when they were bringing us up. You can start dropping in the comment section if you've had any of such mistakes. And even we now, as modern day parents, we're also not perfect. Of course, we're yeah. making one or two mistakes yeah so in this video we're going to be analyzing this topic from two different angles from her angle as a generation x and from my angle as a generation y mom millennia millennia <laughs> Gen she's, x. A, she's a much older generation mom she got married like 21 years ago forget she's looking like sweet 60 you know? <laughs> she got married like 21 years ago <laughs> and her first son is 21 years while i got married like seven plus years ago and my first son is like six plus so two different generations but we're going to be analyzing the whole parenting okay. so if you're interested in watching that let us know okay so the first point i want to address is the point on food menu what you eat in the house growing up i think uh, a lot of these decisions we make are highly influenced by our background when something happens to you as a child there are two ways you take it. Either you choose to be totally different from that experience exactly. mm -hmm. or you choose to be just like that. Mm -hmm. What happened in your life mm -hmm. will just play out to you. Mm -hmm. When I was young growing up, you dare not choose what to eat. Whatever mommy provides, if it's eba, mm -hmm. everybody would eat that eba. We didn't have that leverage of, okay, I want to eat Indomie, I want to eat, but no, 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 you eat what mommy provides. And sort of, that is the same thing I'm doing with my children. Maybe once in a while, when I know that this child really, really hates this food, I can just, just give you that leverage. But to make it a norm in my house that, okay, when I prepare something, this one will say, I want to eat this, I want to eat that. No, I don't do it. Everybody eats what I cook, and I think it's better. I think it's better to me, yes, because all this very Is problematic. Really? <laughs> I'm coming. Oh, she's coming. Hey. She's coming. No, no, no. We're going to argue this thing out. <laughs> all these difficult husbands are like, I want fresh food. Team fresh food. Mm -hmm. I don't want this. No. It's because of how you, the mother trained them when they were young. <laughs> and when your wife put this one, you say, I don't want to eat this one. I, want to. I think it's, it's started from this thing. So let's hear your point. Oh. <laughs> well, well, the same way you grew up was the same way I grew up. Okay. In my father's house. In fact, I don't eat moi moi, I don't like moi moi, mm -hmm. right from time. Okay. So those days when they make moi moi at home, I would sleep on an empty stomach. Wow. Nobody was ready to, to give, give me anything. You understand? Until I started cooking, that was when I would now make something for myself. Okay. But you see, that wasn't the way I did with my kids. Okay. No, no. Mm. 
Tell me because something. Because I found that food is not a problem. The only food in my house that is composed that I cook you must eat is beans. Okay. But apart from beans, what I do, I actually ask them, what do you want to eat? Because Bye. I don't want to go through the stress of cooking and you come and say, I don't want to eat. You must eat it. You if know. you don't eat it, you sleep on a day. No. No. I don't have that kind of heart. I have my like I have that kind of heart to sleep on an empty stomach. Like that. No way. <laughs> No way, no point. If I was insisting, like okwa, you must eat okwa. You give them, they will throw it up. I said, what is all? This? Before when I tried okay. and tried and, and okay. failed. Before, before I did, paint me as you know the horrible <laughs> mom here. <laughs> if you are allergic to a food, or if it will make you break out or throw up, mm. uh, I will give you a pass on that. But if not, if it's not that serious, if it's I don't like this. Like, you can it. actually walk in on us at meal times, and we are eating totally different, different things. things. I'm telling wow. you. Wow. Okay, guys, do let us know in the comment section what you think about this. This is a very heated argument. And do you I'm think I'm spoiling them? I'm not ready to change my stand. Lie, lie. No, no, me. Yes. Well, I, I'm almost <laughs> done. It's only the small one that is winning. The other ones are big. So I don't even have. <laughs> you got to be too late. So do let us know in the comment section what you think about the children selecting different food that they want to eat. Is it something that you would encourage? Is it, or is it something that is a no no for you as a mother? Alright, so the next point I want to talk about is discipline, okay? Okay. As a Gen X mom, how do I discipline my children? Mm -mm. Koboko and Bulala. <laughs> <laughs> you may be surprised that is come. Are, like, you lying, are you lying about wait, your age? What is going on? Because <laughs> what is it? Like I'm the one that was born in the in the sixties. I should say I was born yesterday. See, okay, I'm this close to fifty. Like 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 this. So I'm Gen X. Mom, 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 you I'm sorry, I was saying hi, girl. Hi, guys. Mom, I took over. Mom, 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 because it's not really. I'm sorry, mom. No, no. I'm very sorry, mom. Let me do that. Please, get that to stop. So, like, for the discipline one, I, I believe in conversations, dialogue. dialogue. Okay. okay? Dialogue, we talk. We use the cane, yes, but I, I, I hardly. It's my husband that does the spanking. You know, and then when he's done with you, he brings you, sits you down, and asks you if you understood why, why he did what he did. He always does that so that you would understand why. Yeah. Because, it, you know, the, one of the mistakes our parents made was no room yes. for, 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 for explanation or dialogue. Explanation. They, you, they've spanked you, they've yeah, spanked they you. Spank you. Nobody is asking Sometimes you Sometimes you don't understand. even know why you are being spanked. Spanked. The you're, spanking you're is, not not a, is not even a form of discipline. It's just like a form of making us annoyance. You know, frustration. Yeah. You cannot even air your views. Me, as in particular. I will be shouting, I will, I will, I will use it, I will beat you, I will beat you, I will beat you. That's why we, <laughs> That's why you end up the mouth. Yeah. It is IJ's intention to paint me back on YouTube today. <laughs> no, 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 no. She let we'll her. Be, we'll be, we'll be, we'll be. <laughs> okay, yes, I understand the logic of dialogue and conversation, but guys, I will not come here to lie to you. I use the cane. I spank. And I spank a little. See, I can pet, I, I can be a pet mom, but I'm a spanker mom too. If you do anyhow, you see anyhow. Well, light her line. Wow. Wow. Woo. If you don't know how you say anyhow, I spam. My own is, I will, be, I will beat you. If you don't, I will beat you. That's what My I'm own is, I will beat you and I will beat you on top. As you I say, say I, will I will beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, beat yourself. Do you understand? Yes, I talk sometimes, but I spam. You know, yeah, Afri but... African parents, we hold close to that spare the rod. If you have any African father that has not quoted that verse, that Bible verse, even the, that... <laughs> <laughs> even the one that, even the one that don't go to church, they know that verse very well. Spare the rod and spoil the child. Uh, we believe. In this family, we believe in using the cane. We do, okay. we do. But it's not everything a child does that you, that you bring out cane. Okay, okay, yes, it's yes, not. yes. Dialogue could it's go. Would we'll do it. You won't even need to raise a finger yeah. and letting the child understand why. Anyways, in conclusion, I think that bringing up a child in Africa, we know abroad there are rules and regulations to this thing. You dare not. He's an yeah, yeah. But in Africa, it's like. But they are regretting. Some of them are regretting. They're regretting. That's why yeah. the family system is messed it's, up. Yes. Yes. You talk to your three year old, anyhow, he calls the cops and all those. No social yeah, services. Organic. Organic. Mm -hmm. 
My or your neighbor, your, your neighbor, neighbor call, call the police. police. Uh, hey, that's why the family structure is, is messed, messed up. You know, up. when the family is messed up, the society oh, is messed yeah. up. The society is yeah. a reflection of the an extension of the family. Yeah. So I believe that raising a child, I wouldn't say be totally exclusive to conversation. You know, there are some cases that conversation will not work. It's like a, a fruit salad. Yeah. You talk, you converse, you agree. You blackmail, <laughs> you bring the whoop <laughs> you emotionally blackmail. That blackmail, I'm guilty. Yeah, they're guilty, right? Like, you know, you did this to your mother. Oh my god. My son did not feel bad. You know, I'm so sorry. You may have a drama queen. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. Your love is so sorry. Anyways, yeah. that's it. Yeah. Okay, on this one, I, I really don't have so much to say because my children are still small. They're still very little, but. We're going to be talking about the use of phone and social media. These days, parents have lost control of their children and their access to the internet. In our days, if you needed any information, you go to a library, you use a book. But now, most information are on the internet, so there's a limit to how much you can restrict the children from going to the internet. What do you think about children having smartphones, having access to social media and the internet, and how do you think we, modern day generation, mothers can control or commit what, what works for you okay for me what we did remember i said my kids are big it's just a small one yeah. he has not reached the age that we give phones mm -hmm. like in my family we give we give our kids phones at nine not smartphones okay. the phones we give them you know those small small phones it's such like just for calls, communication communication purposes okay. strictly so that when you're out you want to reach your children did you have a help like most the children have been the one in custody of the phone why not giving the help and adult the phone and reach the children through the help it's like um, a birthday, nine years birthday, birthday gift. gift for you know that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Something that we just said, okay, when you are this age, we'll give you a phone. I will not judge anyone for the way they choose to raise yes, their, their children, children, but I know that some people use an app to control whatever the children do yeah. on the internet. Yeah. In fact, somebody was saying it in one of the groups I belong to, that she can control her children's phone or device wherever she is. So she doesn't even need to shout. All she needs to do is when it's time for you to do your chores, she will Dis switch, disconnect you. No, and, and once it happens, the children know that ah, mommy is that it. You know, <laughs> so they will they will have to go and do what they have to do. So for those that have smart that give their children smartphones, tablets, you should think of that. Look for an app that you to can use it. to control because and they, they see the sites the that, that they, they visit. visit. It's not the way it was for us when we were in school. Blackboard and chalk. Yes. Most times they the give them homework the that you have to use the internet. So it's good that they are internet savvy, all right? But, but control. control. There should be parental control. I think I'm taking a, a cue on that because children using smartphones became unavoidable during the COVID era. So last year I had to buy my children a smartphone because they were learning from home and I couldn't have been there to do for them because I go to work and these classes happen yeah, when, when I'm not around work. and I have to you know give them access to the internet because all these teaching portals and sites you need internet to access it but I don't think I really did the whole controlling thing app monitoring which I'm taking a cue from so parents despite it has gotten to that level civilization yeah globalization that all of that and it's no more we don't have a choice but to allow the children access to internet it will yeah. be a big mistake for us to just give them free and unlimited and unchecked uninterrupted yeah. yeah, access. access yes, yes. We, have to control. we have to control it also put a measure in place that at this time of the time of night the day, submit stop, your fears yes, stop using go to phone. bed because many of them even at night they won't sleep you, you know they will be it, it, oh it happened here yeah. so my husband had to you, you told him you met my son so yes. every night he will submit his phone okay. because we found out that they will be on the phone chatting discussing what i don't know so at night he will submit his phone then in the morning <laughs> they should submit it so that you're sure that it's not when others are sleeping, they are awake. All right, so the next point is house chores, okay? Um, I'll, I'll tell you how I did or what I'm doing. I know I mentioned this some time ago. I think it was my video with Adese. Because my children had allergies going up, there were some chores that I wouldn't give them. But things like washing plates, cleaning up after yourself, things like that, 
they do it. Right now, they cook. My third son is at home on holiday. He's in secondary school. He cooks. All I do in this house is provide stew, soup, maybe make um, jollof rice or whatever. Every other thing he can do for himself. So there's some things that I don't need to do. So they learn to do these things. And then the other two that are in the university, they are living alone. If they don't cook, hunger. Hunger. So for the chore thing, because of those allergies, I didn't insist on some particular things like sweeping because the dust and everything would affect them. So sweeping and all those, no, I didn't insist on it. Okay, well for me, I'm an only girl child. My brothers were not really raised to do things to at home domestic. because they are guys. Because they are guys. So the guys would stay in the parlor and watch television. I and my mom would be in the kitchen. Living it out. Yes. For me, I don't think that's ideal. So I am raising my sons to do all Everything. chores. Even soup. I don't want a situation whereby, okay, you grow up, you can't make soup, you can't make soup because mommy is the only one that no, I want them to do everything. everything. Sweep, clean, mop, wash toilets. I think any mother that is keeping her children from doing chores is doing a great injustice to herself. I'm telling because the you, sooner the children, children learn to them too. The sooner the children learn to be independent, the more you would even have peace. Because you don't have less need for helps and all the other hands. When you raise your children not to be domesticated, I think that when they are 18 teenagers, you still be looking for one house help to another because they can't help themselves. But when you teach the children how to be able Do to handle the home, yeah. you see that's all this stress of maids how to like now, this? my sons, that's my father, they can cook. If I had taught them how to like make soup, you would have been free from Do that. Do you understand? Thank you. Uh -huh. And then they would have been able to make it for themselves. themselves. Right now, when they want to eat African food, they have to order. One order, you see. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comment section. Do you think that children should be exposed? You know, some people will come with child slavery and you know, what do you even name? Which kind? <laughs> child, why should you subject a four-year-old child to sweeping and mopping? As long as that child hand can hold a mop family, that child Teach is mop. Child, that is yes. my own ideology. And I don't believe in gender roles when it comes to chores. All boys, all girls do everything do that everything. they can. Yeah, that's what so let us know in the comment section what you think about children doing chores. Do you think it's unfair to them or do you think that it's in their own interest? interest. So my last and final point, I hope you guys are enjoying this collaboration. If you are, Please give this video a big thumbs up and drop in the comments. We want to hear from you. Mm, let us hear your own experiences and your own thoughts in the comment section. So our last point is on sex education. That's, I have said repeatedly, is one of the major challenges that our parents made. They didn't tell us. Sex was a taboo. In fact, to so even call the sex organs their names. <laughs> was it was taboo? a taboo. Eh? Then people, they will tell you, you know, man, talk to your shoulder. You will get pregnant. What is wrong in calling penis penis? Which one is Lulu? Touch your wee wee. Touch your boo boo. Touch your blah blah. Let the children know what the what names they are. They are body parts, really. Hmm. Let them know and let them be comfortable to tell you about these things. Back then, even if you are getting molested, because of the way our parents made these topics like an abomination, sacrilegious, you can't, you can't even say it because it you feel like you are the one that has the problem. Mm. You are the one that, that will be blamed, that, that will be blamed for, for it. For it. You know? So, I, when it comes to parenting, I'm very, very open with my children when it comes to sex education. Despite their boys, I am the one that handles the sex education myself. I don't know what No, it is for like me, I, I don't bother. It's my husband that does it. Yes. So what do you guys think in the comment section? Do you think mothers should educate their female children while fathers should educate their male children? Or do you think that... Anybody, I anything. think anybody can. It's just me. It's just oh, me. Yes, personally. Okay. I think anybody can. And one thing I've come to realize as a parent is those things that you don't tell your children, they will they learn will it, it outside. And they will hear it along And the wrong it will way. be better for you to tell them the correct thing because they will learn the wrong thing from an outsider. So stop hiding some things from them. It's like it's like this this um, body part naming body parts. The other day we were gisting in the dining and mm. i've forgotten what we're talking about and my son what we use is your wee wee bombo you okay. know that kind of thing so it i just said no it's penis it's, it's it, the name is penis so let's call it the name because by the time you start making it seem um, like it's giving something it that's nicknames mm. they will not be wrong like that means there's something wrong with you this thing. That's why I know. so because they'll say how come my head is called head 
Exactly. This is a place. So I can now not call this one. Islam is there something wrong with this place? Uh-huh. You know that. Kind of, so I think we should be bold enough. I know. I know that our backgrounds affect us a lot, you know, but I think we should be bold enough. A lot of things my parents did, you I'm, the I'm doing opposite. the opposite, yes. you know, because you know how it affected you. Yes. Sometimes it's not, tell the, call a spade a spade. Call a spade. Tell the child if you meet with a woman, you, you, you feel given the name. Let me talk like, okay, <laughs> because <laughs> my son was asking me, I was telling him, look at my stomach. I showed him my old pictures. My stomach was very flat. It was you, when you were in my stomach, that like you made my stomach big. And I will give birth to you. I was like, where did I come out from? I was like, oh, yeah, that guy, yes. I, my son had asked me Hey, that. Jesus. It's, it's baby, difficult. Baby, come and ask her, baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's difficult sometimes. It's difficult, but I think when they get to that age that you think they, they can understand comprehend. it, Reveal. Tell them what it is. Yeah. It's better that you told them than that they learn it from the internet and learn the wrong thing. Oh my god, guys, this has been so. In fact, I myself that shot the video have learned a lot from it. This topic has been so rewarding, so revealing, and so interesting. Please thank IG for gracing. Oh wow, us. thank <laughs> Neza for, for doing this with me. You guys should be thanking her. Thank her. Oh. Thank Neza for me. Oh. <laughs> Please thank her. I I you know, you know, show. Your love and gratitude to her is by going to her channel. Her channel is amazing. She has a lot of amazing content. She talks about motherhood, parenting. parenting. In fact, everything that you need to be a better individual, you'll find on her channel. So please subscribe and see you from Nezeville. Thank you so much for watching. It's me, your girl, Barista Neze. Neze Mwa, Neze Pepe Rempe. And this is Nezeville. I'll see you guys in my next one for now. Bye. Bye.